I was in town at the Good Shepherd Institute, Fort Wayne, for their music symposium this weekend with my mother. We had a lovely time visiting the symposium, and here's some of my artwork. This is the church we visited before the symposium. I love the traditional art and architecture in this space. to another episode of Art with Kelly and today I am visiting Zion Lutheran Church in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This place is beautiful. It was established in 1883 and I had the chance to listen to um, their church service celebrating All Saints Day today. So I wanted to show you around and have you learn a little bit about traditional art and architecture within the church. We witnessed a baptism this morning. The baptismal font has eight sides to it, representing the eight days of creation. I love admiring the high altar that looks like a fortress or a city, the city of God coming down from heaven, the bride of Christ, the new Jerusalem. The pulpit was adorned with gold, a crown, a crucifix, and a lot more floral forms meant to represent paradise and the new creation. Would you like to come upstairs with me and look at the stained glass more closely? I thought so. I find stained glass to be very beautiful. In Revelation 22, the river of the water of life is described as being as clear as crystal. This reference biblically is the inspiration for all of the stained glass that we see in churches today. The stained glass of different colors was cut into shapes and put together with metal in between to point to this picture of the river of the water of life in the Bible. As you can see, the churches were inspired by nature and the Bible to give us a picture of what paradise with Jesus would be like. We will not be alone. We will be with God forever, the angels, the archangels, and all of the people, the congregation, the company of saints, the bride of Christ.